Welcome back Chubby Techers. Today we are reviewing the 12 stream tri-band Wi-Fi router Nighthawk AX11000. Um, yeah, Wi-Fi 6. That's it. That's the one I was looking for. It's the latest Wi-Fi technology. Now this router cost a couple hundred quid. Uh, I think it was about £390. Um, so... I've, if you just see my other video, I've just reviewed a four hundred pound AD seven hundred, which is a newer standard, um, and well, that was terrible. Let's see if the best of the AX standard can live up to its uh, reputation. Let's give it a test now. Let's see what have we got? What have we got? Okay, how do we open this box up? All right, I'll open this box and then we will uh, come back to all this. Wow, what have we got here? What have we got here? Ugh. So, we've got Ethernet cable. Quick start guide, power adapter. Uh, yeah, all that data. Look at all that. That's for your perusal. You read it, I ain't saying it. He's doing it. He's doing it. <sighs> well, that's a mess. What is going on in here? So, you got your quick start guide. You got your demarrage rapide kurzan looting. I don't know what that is. Probably just quick, quick start guide in different languages. Um, books there we go there's the bad boy and let's see uh, oh my god this is heavy oh and it's as big as the ad 700 sheesh right let me open this up and then uh, there you go that's where you get in the box as well some ethernet cable and power bleeds just like the ad 700 or is it i can't remember what that actually was but yeah i'll be right back again okay first impressions this is a flimsy piece of plastic. Look at this. Look at this. What the? What is this? However, and look, exposed wires and everything. This is terrible, neck gear. However, what you do is you push it down. There you go. That's now locked in. And look at that. I feel like if I hit that in, just whack. It's just going to snap. So that's terrible. And again, for four hundred pounds, really. Just gonna show you guys something. Solid piece of super hub. Look at that. Even the BT disc is better. What is going on here, people? I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to replace this super hub. Seriously. Uh, right, let's get this. Have a look at this, have a look at this, have a look at this. Nothing on the sides, nothing underneath. What have we got on the back? So on the back we have got USB ports, got your uh multi-gig ethernet you've got four ports there plus the 2.5g on the right and that's it all right so let's wire this up and see what our speed results are a little fan there here's a little fan yeah all right let's see are you kidding me netgear seriously so i thought you know the ad700 I keep forgetting what that other router was that I reviewed. Um, I thought that was, you know, it gave me a great result beside the router, poor away from the router because of its technical standards. And I thought, well, this is an AX11000. That's 1.1 that's gig a bit. Um, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Let's get this right. Let's get this right. Mm. So. It was the XR700, the Netgear XR700. That's the one I compared. AD 7.2 gigabits per second. This was the AX11000. 11 gigabits per second. Yes, I've got my maths there for a second. Um, and, I, and you thought this one was going to be better. Better. Okay, look at this speed right beside the router. Now, my immediate reaction was, being technical background, I restricted myself to a 100 megabit connection for some reason. Don't know why, it didn't connect gigabit, it connected 100 megabit. So I checked Superhub, it showed gigabit. I checked my PC, it showed gigabit. So I was like, okay. Then I moved my phone literally like this, touching it, and I got 100 and something megs. So it, I, I do believe it was connected at gigabit speed. Um, I even changed all the ports just to make sure. 
And then I went away and I thought, well, look, if this is maxed out at 100 meg, then even further away, it should still give me just up to 100. And this is the speed I got downstairs, again, where I tested the RX 700. It was even worse, so I'm pretty confident I connected one gigabit's connection and ready 400 pounds this when you get a super hub and you just plug it in and it just works you get your top speed which is for me is just under 600 and it has no aerials people complain about it it's boring but it gives me top speed and it works and then I go and buy this 400 pound kit and I get this again I hope this saved you from spending unnecessary money on an unnecessary product uh, and there's just better alternatives out there and we'll keep finding that that damn right alternative for you guys if you like this video thumbs up subscribe please support the channel and we'll catch you next time